That's right. I'm smart. I know everything. Everything. What about uh, the world, life, the universe? Nice try, Uncle Faker. You see, I wasn't washing your dirty dishes back at the Bonjour Cafe for nothing. Actually, it was for nothing. That's why I quit. But that doesn't matter, because I have a new paycheck coming in the mail. Okay, David, spit it out. Okay, what, what, what are you doing here? What do you want? Props to you, Jarhead. You're good, but you're not that good. You see, I know that you're not Ace of Buchanan's son, so I'm here to collect what's rightfully mine. So you, uh, you know... Natalie, did you really think that I wouldn't figure it out? I'm practically the poster boy for long lost sons. I could have been your uncle all this time. But if Todd hadn't found out, Todd. Yeah, really bad timing on that one. I had Vicky going for a long time, and she is one tough cookie to fool. But that's not going to happen again. I've been to the mountain. It's been a long climb back. You know, it feels really good to be back you on top of You fool people again. into thinking you're Vicky's brother. You expect them to believe a word you say. Yes. Because this time, I'm telling the truth. I know yeah. for sure that you're scamming them. Well, no one's going to believe it coming from you. Natalie, there is a saying that goes, even a broken clock is right sometimes during the day, once or twice at night. I'm pretty sure I got most of that wrong. But my point is, all I need to do is plant a seed of doubt. Maybe I'll suggest that they recheck the DNA. One way or the other, Jared, they will realize that you're no more a Buchanan than I am. Okay, yes, you, you're on to us. You know that I'm not a Buchanan. But see, Natalie and I are planning on telling the family. Just not right now. Well, I was hoping to come clean in a way that would hurt the fewest people, David. If I had a sword, I would knight you. But I don't, and this is anything but noble. This isn't about money. Of course it's about money, fake Uncle Jared. It's always about money. But don't you see? You don't have to pretend to be the baby Buchanan anymore. To inherit the money, you can just marry it. I love Natalie. Have you been rehearsing that? It sounded rehearsed. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're more into her than I thought. You know what, David? Um, there, there's more than one reason why we don't want this to get out yet. Prison being one. Can you at least let me break the news to my mom first? I know you don't want to hurt her. What, what, what are you talking about? Who said anything about breaking the news? We don't have to breathe a word of this. Unless the creepy spawn of aces comes crawling out from under a rock. Oh, good. Well, that's subtle. Uh, no, Natalie, there is still the matter of the money. Money? The next generation of con artists is such a disappointment. You don't even know blackmail when it's staring you in the face. You know, I told you he was a creep. Hey, cretins have feelings, you know. Do you know that you know this guy was a donor match when Jessica had liver cancer and... He wanted my dad to pay him $10 million before he would agree to be the donor. Never made a dime off of that. Yeah, because my mom got through to you first. Yeah, and I felt really... What's the word? Guilty. I never want to go through that again. Okay, all right, David. Then don't. All right, do the right thing. Uh, no, I I'm sorry. We're not talking about livers here. No one's dying, so I can't imagine feeling bad for taking my cut of what Jared's been bilking your family for this whole time anyway. I told you he was scum. It's okay. I will handle this. I I I've got to get to Rex's wedding. I'm in it. Go. I will take care of it. <sighs> I'll miss you. You too. Natalie, are you going to kiss Uncle Jared goodbye? I can't get that amount of cash until tomorrow. Fine. But remember, just the first installment. See, Natalie and I are planning on telling the family, and when we do, your little ride on this gravy train is going to be over. Well, I'll cross that trestle when I come to it. i got to ask you, though, aren't you a little concerned that the real Buchanan heir is going to rear his ugly head? <laughs> what, what's, so, what's so funny? Oh, nothing. It's just funny you should put it that way. Why? Do you know who he is? Yeah. Natalie! 
Uh, I think you got the wrong room. But you can come in if you want to. Ah, uh, no, I'll just try to find the bridesmaids. 